Hey everyone, it's Kelsey aka Real Mrs. B and since I have been gone since like November, I figured I would catch you guys up on our sinking funds and our debt snowball. Uh, so let's start first with uh, 2017. It feels like it's been 2018 forever already. I apologize. Anyway, 2017, this is uh, the spreadsheet I have created to track our sinking funds. All of our sinking funds are in one uh, savings account, um, and then I keep track of the amounts of everything in this spreadsheet. So uh, in November, we were able to put 100 towards our car fund, uh, 25 that went for beauty and clothing, 50 for car maintenance that includes like, um, you know, changing tires or oil changes, anything that might go on either one of our cars. Uh, 50 towards the cats and then 27 towards taxes because I believe I got paid from YouTube that month that month So what I have been doing is anytime I got paid from YouTube I would take 20% and put it into taxes Which is kind of a joke now because it looks like we're gonna owe a great deal again This year last year we owed near 2,500 and it's looking like this year. It's gonna be just about that but we're gonna be all right. <laughs> um, and then just three cents interest because you know savings accounts make a lot of interest. Let me just move my face over here. Um, I did near the end of the year put like our HSA money on here just to kind of keep track of um, how much money was put into that. Now I have barely ever been using this. It is left over from last school year in which uh, we had that as part of their health care program or being on their health plan. Um, but I have it there, which is really nice little comfort zone in case anything uh, were to happen. And then our emergency fund, I had gotten a Capital One um, 360 account, which I'm sure you've heard all kinds of um, people talking about on YouTube. I finally went ahead and did it, and uh, we put our money just in that for that's the only different account um, so December obviously with Christmas we had withdrawn money so we had withdrawn from gift money we didn't contribute to that in November because um, any money we put were gonna put aside for it we had used buying gifts so we did take out a hundred um, for gift money we did put in thirty dollars for entertainment now we had been saving up for a computer slash TV and ended up being a TV. So um, I gifted my husband and I, I guess, um, a TV after Christmas. Um, so that was $800 total. And um, we, I think I had the money or whatever during the month and then we just needed to take out 400 from the account. Um, to pay for it. Oh, and because we had this gift card, um, like a hundred some left over, there we go, 146 left over. Uh, we ended up taking out 400 though from our sinking fund. So now it is just for a computer. We don't need a TV. <laughs> uh, cats 15, car maintenance another 100. We did take out that 25 for beauty and clothing. I think I got makeup that month. Um, they had a deal at Bare Minerals. And then um, Amazon Prime, I just went ahead and put the $50 in. We owe 100. And I think it's June or July, I have it over here. And uh, 200 towards our car fund. So at the end of the year, we we're looking pretty damn good because we got over $4,500 in savings in these various accounts, which is pretty awesome. And it's nice to see now like an entire, this is like almost a year, I think, um, now of tracking how much we're putting into these accounts. Um, so I could see which ones we were really overdrawing on or being used a lot, or maybe ones that aren't super necessary. So I'll probably go back and maybe change these. But And then I had added a goal of like where to cap off the money. Um, you can see that we went over a little bit in our car maintenance because my husband's windshield has cracked and we know we should get that replaced. Uh, so, And my car has issues too. Um, we're just really bad about putting it off, but we have some money there. So going into 2018, now we're a couple months in, uh, you can see I added some stuff down here. I haven't quite 
got the numbers for these, but um, I added like our retirement funds. Now, um, I, as a Wisconsin teacher, I don't have a choice um, with Wisconsin retirement system. I am required to be a part of it and is taken out automatically and put into that. Um, and then John, uh, he got matched, I think like 2%. It was something super small. I think it was 2%. So I said, why not just do the 2%? Um, it's not super hardcore Dave Ramsey, but uh, to me, it's free money. It's only 2%. And we are almost done paying off debt. So we're going to do it. Um, anyway, I don't have the numbers for those quite yet. But it is pretty cool seeing how big this number is. What? Okay, so starting balances all the same here. Uh, January, a um, few things going on. We, I think this is a month that John got paid three times, so we ended up having like a bunch of extra money for things, and uh, we put more towards the car fund. Um, we got a little bit towards beauty and clothing, put more towards the computer, because I really thought at this point there was no hope for my computer. <laughs> uh, a little towards gift money, and then I added this miscellaneous. It's right now. It's a uh, spring break slash a festival that are both happening in April. Um, we wanted to. We're not like going away for spring break, um, but my husband took off some days. He had a bunch of um, you know hours, paid hours that he was able to use, um, and he still has some left over. Uh, so we have like the week off. We're gonna go to um, out of town to visit some family one day. I'm gonna go to a conference one day. Uh, we might go to like the casino just to like bingo, go out to eat, just some things that aren't like going on a trip trip, but we will be spending some money. But then we have a festival, a beer, wine, cheese festival that we're going to with my family and that we will be spending um, overnight and paying for the tickets and stuff like that. And I am totally okay, okay paying for this because it does not affect us being out of debt in 2018. So um, it is about time we treat ourselves a little bit. So um, anyway, then in, um, oh, we took out 420, um, I believe, because we have not touched our emergency fund this entire time. Um, I ended up just reducing it a little bit. And I think you'll see that I put that towards our debt snowball. So I should have waited a little bit because then I found out that we're going to need it for taxes. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, then in February, $150 towards car fund, $75 car maintenance. Again, we're raising it. I raised it to $750 for a cap. Uh, $50 for our cats, $150 towards, our, tor towards, <laughs> towards the computer. Again, didn't have much hope then. Uh, entertainment, 40 bucks. Gift money ended up being 46 because I think I bought something for my dad. Um, so, and some lovely people signed up for the Capital One 360 and used my code, uh, which you should see down in the description box below. I was really surprised to log into that account and see that I got that $20 bonus. That was really, really awesome to see. Um, so if you're interested, please go down below and use my link, um, a referral link. You get money, I get money, everyone's happy. Um, all right, so moving on to what you're really probably excited to see, or I'm excited to show you at least, is our debt snowball. So there's a lot going on here. I'm going to move myself for a moment and show you in 2017 over here. Um, as you can see, in November, we paid off 39% uh, of our income was paid towards about 1800 pay off some of our debt and then in December over 2600 which is fantastic which is 45 percent of our income which is super cool to see um, and I, don't, I think either one of us had more than two paychecks I don't remember now um, we just ended up oh because the was that the month of 420 maybe see it's been so long I can't do this I think December was actually the month that John got paid three times. In January, we ended up paying more than our usual, trying to stay around two thousand, um, because we took that four hundred and some dollars out of our emergency fund to just put it towards debt, since I didn't feel like I really needed as much that it felt 
more right to go towards debt. Anyway, so uh, our goal in 2018 was to pay off $20,000 worth of debt. Now the amount that we paid towards debt was only over $25,000, but we met our goal and surpassed our goal by $4,000, which is incredible. Uh, so we paid about $4,000 more than the previous year, uh, but a lot more towards, um, towards the actual principal, which is great to see that too. Um, so this year, our goal is to become debt free and it will happen by December. I am super thrilled about this. Um, it's gonna be great. So we are currently, um, probably after this next payment, I just pre just made uh, probably at 75%, if not more, paid off, which is really cool. Um, so at the end of the year, we had 63-ish percent paid off, which is pretty cool. And so far, this year is going great. The first month, 47% of our income. Second month, 46. And this month, I've already paid $1,200 towards debt. Um, and I think it's going to be close to two grand. I'm trying to keep it two grand every month because then, um, then that will let us reach our goal. Um, so we, sorry, I keep moving my face, but we are under 17,000 right now. It's crazy. I can't wait until we're under 10 and then under five. It's just flying by. Uh, so things to think about though is we do owe for taxes. And in March, actually, we put aside like $1,700 towards, um, towards the taxes. And I think we owe between $2,000 and like $2,500. So next month we will um, obviously pay it because it'll be April and we have to do our taxes. Um, we will pay it then and it has not really affected our um, goals at all towards debt, which is amazing. We kind of put the sinking funds on hold um, because we had built them up already, which is awesome. And March happened to be a month that I got paid three times, so that extra paycheck went towards that. And um, April's looking like it's not gonna be, be a big issue either putting us back. So very exciting news. Um, I have been so disconnected from you guys lately, and I apologize. I hope to keep doing this. Um, I hope you're as thrilled as I am to see how low this number is getting. And I wanna hear from you on um, how did your goals go for 2017? What are your goals for 2018? Um, if you're paying off debt, how's it going so far? Uh, Cause it's pretty fantastic over here. Uh, so uh, I will catch you guys very soon, hopefully in my next video. I look forward to hearing from you down below, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.